going on guys? I am back with a quick video update, hopefully something useful to help you guys on your Amazon merch journey. If you guys aren't familiar with what Merch by Amazon is, I already have a few videos out that talk a little bit more about it, so keeping it brief, Merch by Amazon is Amazon's print on demand program. So you upload a design that meets their specifications, they put it on shirts for you, create mock-ups and list them on their website. And then when they sell, you collect a royalty. Very simple, uh, it's very fun and easy to do. So anyway, with that being said guys, I'm gonna show you a few of the different ways that I actually try to find shirts that are doing well, spy on kind of the competition, see what's working, what's not, and get a feel for uh, just what I want my designs to kind of be looking like and what I can give to designers or if I'm gonna do the design myself. Um, a little bit of guidance. So let's jump right into it. There, now there's a few different strategies that I use and obviously there's a lot more that I'm still learning about and you guys might also see you know, out here on YouTube or wherever else. And if you guys have any amazing strategies, please drop a comment below. I'd love to hear more about them since we're all on this journey together. Make sure while you're at it to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, now that we got that out of the way, now the first one I'm gonna go over is something that I picked up from doing private labeling, which is actually my main expertise with Amazon. Private labeling, as you guys are aware, there's a few key tools that everyone talks about, everyone uses, and they actually translate over to Merch by Amazon fairly well. So the first one is obviously uh, using Jungle Scout. So what I'll normally do for this method is, uh, you know, if I'm either designing shirts or I'm giving um, a designer some work to do what I'm gonna normally try to do my workflow is to choose one niche per day to work on one niche that I can focus on and just try to hammer out five maybe ten sometimes less designs and hopefully get those done and uploaded so that I can meet my minimum uh, number of uploads for each day so what I'll do is I'll go over to Amazon and with that niche, I'm gonna go and just start searching. So we'll, let's just go ahead and uh, choose one. The first thing that comes to my head, let's do yoga. So yoga, so you can do a yoga t-shirt, yoga lover t-shirt, something like that. And you'll see here, obviously, we get a bunch of different shirts come out. Some of them are gonna be kind of relevant to what we're doing, some of them not so much. Obviously, this uh, cross back yoga shirts, not really gonna be applicable. There's no design. We're looking for ones that have designs that we can you know, analyze, see if they're selling well, and then kind of use that to inform ourselves or our designers about a direction to uh, take our shirts. So we have, we have a bunch on here that we might not do, and we also have a bunch that we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I just use the Jungle Scout uh, Google Chrome extension. And I'll put a link to the bio here if you guys haven't already got it. It's I highly, highly recommend it. It was a one-time purchase for me and I actually use it nearly every day for merch and also to look for private label products. Super useful for you guys. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna navigate right over here. Uh, go ahead and click the extension and it's gonna pull up all the data. Now you guys, might have already seen this, so if you have, bear with me while we go over this, and uh, uh, or if you want need to, skip ahead a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do here is it's gonna take a second, it's gonna pull up all of these different designs, analyze them, tell me the rough estimation of how many units they're doing per month. Because remember guys, it's not about necessarily how many you always create, it's also about you wanna create, if you can create one or two designs that do so even just 30, 30 units a month or 20 or units a month or obviously more, that's gonna be a home run t-shirt. And um, so this is kind of helping us inform our decisions uh, for those shirt designs. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna look. So if we take a look at this, we'll actually notice, for example, this shirt right here with a little Buddha on him. Let's check it out a little bit. I have to pull the design or the uh, Jungle Scout again, but no worries. So we pull this one up, got a little Buddha guy here. Now this one's selling for $8.95, pretty low, but what we can see is, if we pull the data back up, is that this shirt did, or is doing roughly, a 
Come on, come on, come on. So yeah, so this shirt right here is doing roughly 200 units per month, okay? That's pretty good. Now, obviously it's, it's a little bit lower as far as the price point, but again, we're just trying to gather as much information as we can here. Let's see, the second one, this one, heavily meditated. That one's doing 21 units a month, still pretty good, okay? Astronaut Zen. This one we don't have enough data on. Now, you, obviously, you're not always going to have exact numbers. These are just estimations, but again, they just help inform us. 31 units. So yoga kind of doing, or a unicorn doing a yoga pose. This one's doing 86 units. These are some more athletic shirts, so these aren't exactly what we're looking for. Okay. You have me at some Savasana, if I can pronounce that right. So this one's doing 15 units a month. So there we go. So now we kind of have an idea. So now I can take these, maybe even take screenshots of them and send them over to my designer and say, hey, make something more like this, less like, you know, less like this. So steer them in a direction. And that's super helpful. Now we can move on and maybe go to uh, another different niche, so hiker t-shirt and do the same thing. And you can rinse, wash, repeat this entire process and create tons of different designs. Um, so that's kind of the first way that I actually dig in. So let me know get back. Now guys, the second way that I find t-shirts is actually by spying directly on the competition. Because if you know one thing, the people that are doing merch, they get pretty good at it if they're gonna stick around. So you can obviously go and dig into the top designs. And so what I do is I normally pick one. So this one's the first organically ranked. Now I know this is merch just because the format of the description is the exact same as the merch uh, descriptions when you create a shirt. Now what I do on this is we can actually dig in to the actual brand that these guys have created and see all the shirts that they've made. Now it looks like they're keeping these all around kind of this campfire, camping, drinking design. So we can, now this is, it's really undervalued, but you can essentially do this on all of the top shirts in all of the top niches or niches, however you say it, and pull together a complete compilation of, look, these are the shirts that are selling the best on Amazon and go ahead and uh, do your own version of them. Obviously some changes, we don't wanna take anyone's ideas, but use them again to guide our decisions. And again, going back to, if you guys did get the Jungle Scout app, or the web extension, you can again pull that and actually within the, the, uh, these guys, their brand, you can then go see which ones are selling the best. Now these, so it looks like they're doing yeah, less than five units a month on each of these shirts. So it, it can be kind of hit or miss. Some of them you might not get enough data. Let's see if we can find another one. Back out of here. Let's see if we can find a better seller. Put on the main page. So we can see, okay, this one, let's, let's take a look at this one. So it's only $5.99. So there, this is probably not a Merch by Amazon shirt, but let's take a look at this guy right here. Best hiker's gift idea shirt. Now some of these you're gonna dig in and find that they only have one, sh one shirt and they might be changing their brand name, so it's okay. Again, this is just one tactic that we're gonna use to actually dig in and find what the competition is doing, see if they have shirts and that are working. Let me see if I can find another one for you guys. Hiking shirts for men boutique. 
So, okay, these guys, for example, have a bunch of different ones. So we can kind of take a look at these. And again, it's just something to work off of. Okay, now the last method that I'm gonna go over, and this one also plays a little bit off this, is if we actually go ahead and copy some of the description. This is, this is actually a way to view all of the uh, people that are selling merch shirts and the top brands that are selling. It's not exact, but it's gonna help us. So I'll copy part of this. I'm just gonna go back to the main Amazon page and paste it in there, search it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually filter this out by Prime because all merch shirts are Prime eligible. And I'm gonna drill down into clothing. And then, so yes, yeah, so you can see these are all Prime eligible. Now on here we could even start using Jungle Scout again to pull and find out which of these shirts are selling the best. So we're getting some results here. Now one thing with Jungle Scout to keep in mind is that the sales figures are not always accurate. They may be, I've heard that they're sometimes higher or lower. It's just an estimation based off of the rank here. But you'll see we're getting you know, some, some good numbers that um, will help us kind of guide our designers in inform them about what the best move is. So let's see this one. This one, for example, is doing roughly 150 units a month. So that one design that these guys made is doing, of course, it's an anti-Trump shirt, very hot right now, very something that people are talking about. So there you have it. Now, the secret to this is that if you go over here, so after we've drilled into Prime and then Clothing, if you go over here and choose top brands, you're gonna get a few that are obviously something we can't imitate at all, Disney, Air Force. Okay, let's try this one more time. Here we go, sorry, the wrong top prints. So okay, again, to backtrack, Prime, and then you have the list of the brands down here. See more, this is gonna show you a list of all the brands here sorted by, and these are all the Prime, or the Merch by Amazon brands. Now, they're not gonna be exact, obviously, but again, guys, this is a way where you can actually pull up essentially a directory of the brands that are selling. You'll see just people are listing all kinds of different names. And you can go over here and just see the top brands or filter through and kind of drill down. So I use this as well to just drill into different, different brands. And some of them you'll notice only have one shirt. Others have more. This one, let's see. <clears throat> we have some of these spammy ones. Like these guys are trying to go off Marvel. So we want to stay away from that, but go into here they have seven autism shirt autism awareness 49 and this is again just to kind of help us we can drill down into the other brands here so again guys this is just another method i use so these are really kind of the three main methods so again you have the jungle scout method uh, which ties into pretty much all of the other methods the second one is spying on your competition so finding shirts that sell well in a niche and then drilling down into their brand and then the third one is getting to the list of all the merch brands and going one by one and looking at just the different brands and sub brands within that niche um, and figuring out what they're doing that's working so i hope that helps if you guys found any value in it please 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 subscribe and drop a like and of course, leave any comments if you guys are using different methods. I see the link in the bio. I'm also gonna go ahead and put the Jungle Scout link to go through if you guys haven't already got Jungle Scout. It's a critical tool for any, pretty much any work you're doing on Amazon. And with that, I will see you guys at the next video.